in the previous video or first part of this topic, I have discussed uh, uh, how to resolve a force in space into rectangular components. Now, for this one, I'm going to discuss or share to you how to add concurrent forces in space. So, in order to add concurrent forces in space, we are going to use the conditions used in uh, two dimensions, x and y plane. Uh, let's recall that Rx is the sum of all x components, while Ry is the sum of all y components. Now, for forces in space, since we have three axes, x, y, and z, now I'm add na isaka condition, which is Rz equal to sum of all forces along the z axis. So what you will do is to resolve all forces into x, y, and z components, and then after that, you add you add the Montanan x component, y component, and z components, and that would be the components of the resultant. Oh. So once you have the component Rx, Ry, and Rz, you can get the magnitude by this one. Same with the single force. Now, if you have the components of the force, this is the formula to get the magnitude. And it is applied also as a resultant, resultant force. So square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared plus Rz squared. For the direction cosine, and I said cosine theta x equal to Rx over R also with theta y and theta z. Direction cosine. If you want to solve for the direction angles, you just get one. You solve for theta x like R cosine, Rx over R, so with theta y and theta z. That is convection angle ang anon. Pero convection cosine lang, cosine theta x, cosine theta y, and cosine theta z. Okay. Our first problem is this. Knowing that the tension is 510 pounds in cable AB and 425 pounds in cable AC, Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant of the forces exerted at A by the two cables. So, dito ka mag-analyze a point where ang forces will meet. In this case, it's point A. And since tension is a kay cable man, then ang direction of force will be from A to B and from A to C. Okay? Okay. Money and given tension AB 510 pounds, tension AC 425 pounds. Again, okay. This should be your guide now. And since not the label X, not the positive X, positive Y, and positive Z. So I need vectors any I, J, and K. Okay, so let us start with EB. Uh, so, AB. so, again, as explained sa first part ano yun ang topic, para dili ka malibog sa distances, okay, you move from A to B. So, either move ka dere, 40 inches to the right, and then you go down, and then you move to B. Or, you go down first, and then along X, and then along Z. Depende. Pwede na nasa. Okay. So, one motion is this, or, or one path going down and then move to B. So, based sa arrow, it's obvious na ang, ang X ni mo is positive 40. Kaya ang direction niya, dari man sa positive X. So, positive 40. Ang Y ni mo, it's negative 45. And then, ang Z da yun is positive 60. Inaman dali ang Z, di ba? Okay, so let's recall. Mamon yung formula. Mamon yung formula in vector form. So you solve for DEB 
Oh, it's positive 40. Then you're negative 45, this one. And positive 60. So the AB is 85 inches. Mauni siya yung substitute there. And then for FAB, you have this one. Our F is 510. For EB, 510 over this distance, 85. And then XYZ. So to do double check, mauna itong XYZ, XYZ, this one. And so divide one, 510 over 85. It's six, so six. And then multiply the most six times 40, six times negative 45, six times 60, and you have this. So this is the X component of FEB, Y component, Z component. You do the same for EC. Okay, so for EC, so you move from A to C. Again, it's either this one. Along A, uh, parallel sa X axis, parallel sa Y, parallel sa Z. Or parallel sa Y, along X axis, and parallel sa Z. Pwede sad na, parallel sa Y, you go down. And then along X, and then you move to B, and then you move to C. Same result. Same ranatanan, no? Okay. So, okay. Dili na lang. Para ka isara. X is positive 100. And then you go down. Negative 45. And then move to C. Positive 60. So, uh, this is our distance easy. Positive 100 I. And minus 45 J. And positive 60 K. It's 125. And our scalar value is 425. So input name. Mo. Okay. 425 over 125. And then X, Y, and Z. And then you divide. The answer is 3.4. And then times 100, times 45, times 60. The result is this. So to get the magnitude, I add mo. Add the money. 580, negative 423, positive 564. Mauna siya ang component sa resultant. Okay. So this is Rx, Ry, and then Rz. So to get the magnitude, square root sa squares nila. Okay. So, okay lang negative. Pag square, positive from na, ano. So, dire lang sa distance. Gipasayas lang negative para pag substitute ni mo sa force, ma-double check ni mo. Okay? Pero, ma-positive from na. Same with this. Even if ma-negative this, ah. Even if negative of 4, 2, 3, pag square, ma-positive lang yan. So the magnitude of the resultant is 912.92. And direction or direction angles, this one, cosine theta x, theta y, and theta z. And then you substitute the components, this one. And then r cosine, you can solve for theta x. Same with this one, theta y, and also with theta z. Okay. So this is how you get the resultant of concurrent forces in space. Just make sure na correct ang distances. No? And then after that, yada ni mo, that is your resultant. Just make sure na wala i force na kwan. Wala i force na maumit na. Or wala i force na maad. Maaccountanan force. Na. Uh, another problem. Determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force acting at A. Uh, okay. 
So, nanata yung scalar value sa force, no? EC, this one. And then EB, 600. So, dito tayo mag-start sa A. Kaya, mamuha na sa ang point na mag-intersect ang, mo, mo, o mag-intersect ang dua ka forces. So, sa A ka, importante na siya. Importante yung origin para dili ma mabali ang sign sa imong component. No? Kaya kung sa C ka, going to A, bali man. O opposite ang sign sa components ni mo sa distances. So dapat sa A mag-start A to C, A to B. Okay. Again, your guide. Now, for this problem, lahi ang orientation sa axis. Nadri ang X, nadri ang Y, nadri ang Z. So, ang unit vectors kay ang I dapat sa X man. So, nadri ang I, nadri ang J, nadri ang K. So, you have to be careful sa, sa orientation sa axis. Asa na lokit ang X, Y, and Z. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start with EB. Okay. So, sa EB, okay. Dari ka mag-move. Una, no? Pwede sa dia. Pwede lagi hapon. And then, dia, and then saka. Upward, no? Or this one. Dia lang tayo. A. Okay. Okay. That's 0.5, pero negative I siya. Kaya naman di ang positive. So negative siya. Negative 0.5 I and then move this way. Oh, that's negative J. Negative 1 J. Kay J man eh. Y-axis, no? Naman din yung positive, negative dito. So negative 1 J or negative J. And then move din ka dito. Another negative 1.5. Another negative, no? Okay, going this way, man. 1.5. And then go up. That's positive to K. Kaya naman din yung positive na Z. So, ang I ni mo, kaduha, maad ni siya. 0.5 and 1.5. So, 2 na. No? Kung diri ka agi, diri ang movement ni mo, kaisa lang ni siya. So, negative 1J and then negative 2I. Same raman. So, this is distance EB. Okay. Negative 2I, negative 1J, and positive 2K. Okay, this one. So, negative 2I, negative 2I, negative 1J, positive 2K. And... DEB is equal to 3. So, this is our FB. The scalar value is 600 over distance 3. And then X, Y, Z. If I follow on another X, Y, and Z. And I divide 600 over 3. It's 200. Times negative 2, negative 400, negative 1, negative 200, positive 2, positive 400. And then if C, na said. So, so if C, okay. Dere ka, with dere said, dere. Una ka dere, positive 1.5 J, and then move that way. Ah, dere ba dere, no? So, positive 1.5 plus 0.5. So, 2. That's positive 2J and negative 2I and then 3.5K. Or, this way, ito lang. Move negative 0.5I and then move this way. That's 1.5 plus 0.5. 2. Positive 2J and then move Negative 1.5i and then move up positive 3.5k. So ang x ni mo, maad siya. You have 0.5 and 1.5. Two tanan. Pero negative. Okay, going this way. So negative 2 ang x. Ang y is positive 2. Okay, dari mo siya mong, dari mo na movement. 
That's 1.5 plus 0.5. So, 2. And then, ang Z is 3.5. Na kay D na distance na 4.5 meters. And if C is 450, okay. so 450 over 4.5, that's 100. No? Money and distances so negative 2, positive 2, positive 3.5. And distribute 100 sa components. Now, yung ask ng ang result is the result is this. result is the result is this. Ma cancel ang J. So ang what is left is kini na lang Rx and also Rz. <clears throat> negative 400, negative 200, so negative 600. 400 plus 350, 750. You get the magnitude. You have this. So R is 960.47. And then direction cosine, I direction or rather directional, direction angle, cosine theta x equal to r x over r. This one, that's one two eight point sixty six. Cosine theta y equal to zero ang r y ba? R cosine of zero is ninety, and cosine theta z. This one, 38.67. So that's how you add concurrent forces in space. Make sure na ang distances are correct. And then ma-resolve ni mo ang force into components. After that, you add. That would be the resultant. And then you can get the magnitude as well as the directions. Okay. So I hope that you have learned something from this presentation. Thank you for watching.